Hello guys and welcome to today's vlog. For me, it's a Tuesday and that's actually my shortest day at work. And if you haven't heard already, I'm doing 10 weeks of a summer job at Fatser where I usually work weekends. I'm working every other weekend as well as 10 straight weeks now. That's gonna make the video frequency or video upload frequency go down a bit. I'm trying to keep it, keep it up but the days are usually quite long and uh, I'm using up most of the energy I have for work. So of course the YouTube channel is gonna take a little hit from that but I hope you can bear with me and I'll be back to the regular schedule after this summer job period is over. I actually considered bringing the camera along to work on a Tuesday because Tuesday as I said is my shortest day and then I feel that I might have the time to actually film a little bit and show you what I do. I guess there's a few problems with it but uh, I thought it through and I think it can be solved so uh, if that's something you want to see you can comment below and if enough people are interested then I could make a little vlog that starts out in my work day. Another fun thing is the painting that Tristan did, Katrina's brother, has finally arrived to us, or he gave it to us. And I'm super happy with the result, it's super nice, it was already super nice when I saw it the first time, but he wanted perfection and I would say that this is perfection. So if you haven't seen it on Instagram, this is it. Look at that puppy. Look at that majestic face. Huh? Who's a puppy? I hope the rascal is as impressed as we are. What I need to do now is to go down to the store downstairs and I need to pick up two packages. I also need to buy some essentials. I think I'm making a homemade pizza, a homemade pepperoni pizza even. It's probably gonna be tasty. I was actually thinking I'd make my own kebab sauce today too, um, but we'll see. Hey Tiny. Hey. Are you jealous that you didn't get a painting after you? You know, I think when you're when you're grown up, huh? <laughs> when when he's all grown up, then I'm sure that he could also get a painting. But he doesn't look as majestic now. He looks very cute, but not majestic. But if you look at the painting up there, it's like it's a, a royalty's dog. <laughs> so this puppy is play deprived, even though he and Rascal has been playing tug of war for a while now. And one could think that the warm weather will make these guys tired. I mean Rascal is, but this little guy is not. This little guy is not. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I guess I'm heading down to the store now. So, I'm back in now. That was two big candy packages and one beard stuff package. I'm not gonna open the candy packages now, but maybe Ken and I can record a candy eating video tomorrow. What? Maybe Kat and I can record a candy eating video tomorrow. Oh. Both puppies are tired because of the warm weather. Rathal is the one like always sleeping and Menace is always ready like he can lay down and rest but he will always keep an eye on you he's always ready to to be up to no good tattoo fade fade tattoo Cover up? I don't know. You got what I was saying. You fade and cover up. Fade is a tattoo actually fading. Covering up the tattoo is just covering it with makeup. Fade and cover up. Fade and cover up. Fade and cover up. Quack 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 goes the duck. I don't really get or I mean I understand that you're trying to cover up a tattoo with these products but I don't understand why you would want to. I don't understand either. It's highly but, requested that's the only reason I'm doing it. But, but maybe, maybe that's just me. No, I, mean, I don't understand either. What would ever cause you to have to cover up a tattoo so, like, just for a day? Yeah. Why would you ever need to do that? I understand, like, if you if you regret a tattoo, and if or if you're not happy with it, or if you're tired of it, then if you're so tired of it or don't like the tattoo that much that you feel the need to cover it up, 
then you would probably feel the need to also remove it, like. Yeah, but I, mean, so I think that, that that's a bigger process. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I get the only way I understand this, this kind of products would be if it's a temporary thing until you can laser it away. But if you love it tomorrow and you loved it yesterday, but today you want to take it away because like I'm getting married and I don't want to have cartouche on my wedding day. Like why did you get tattoo to begin with? Yeah, we're sense. in this for life. Yeah. yeah. So this video is sponsored by, not a sleeping menace, but it's sponsored by Beard Brand and that's where the package came from as well. I kind of have a favorite smell in beard oils and also balms, like let's say beard products. There's a golden line in Beard Brand. They have a smell called Old Money. Old Money. Which doesn't sound like a very fresh smell. <laughs> yeah, but, it, uh, but it's really, really nice. And I've always liked that one. Uh, from all the different ones I've, t I've tried, that's that's uh, probably the top one. Some of that it's gonna be in the package, but I think there's also some other stuff. Let's see. This is a little test tube of a smell called Temple Smoke. I'm getting a little bit more interested in beard uh, oils and balms that have like a little more smoky scent. I've been testing a few different ones. You've also mm. smelled it before. Very but um, in the woods burning. <laughs> in the woods burning. Burning wood. Burning wood. In the woods. Burning wood. By a temple. Burning woods in the woods by a temple. Okay. I like these a little bit more smoky scents, and uh, this is a good one. Here is an old money utility balm. Old money unites deep notes of oak and leather for a fragrance fit for royalty. And I guess it's fit for me then. <laughs> And also the portrait of Rascal up there. Another bomb that's here is Tea Tree. And this is, um, if I remember correctly, I've used this before as well. And this is a little bit more minty. Yeah, very much more minty. Mm, yeah, sweet mint. So this is a Beard Brands 100% Boar Bristle uh, brush. We also have some old money oil. If you're gonna buy a Beard Brand oil, I would suggest that the first one you buy, it's really nice. And this is the Tree Ranger, um, and this is a beard wash, so a shampoo for your beard. Tree Ranger will have you smelling like you just got done hiking through a Pacific Northwest forest. It's one of these typical forest smells that work great in beard oils and balms. If you wanna go check these products out, the link will be down below, and I do recommend my favorite, Old Money. As I said before, we're gonna make a pepperoni pizza. We need to get going with the dough. I guess you get to see a little bit of it. Oh fuck, I was said I was gonna make my own sauce and I forgot to buy Fanta. She Can you wanna go buy Fanta? Mm. So we got a mission from Kat to water the tomatoes. And I'll show you how they look now. I don't know if... Um, I've said in a previous vlog, but Menace destroyed one of the small plantations we had. This one is dead as fuck. This one, however, that has tomatoes, is doing fine. Maybe I should water these two. Hmm? Or maybe I shouldn't water Menace because he's growing too fast already. Um, we also have uh, onions that are doing quite nice. They sprouted and they are looking to be doing good. So now we can start with the pizza. I guess uh, time lapse and some nice music. Since the pan that we're putting it on is uh, rectangular, also this dough is rectangular. This is it now. And here is the pizza going into the oven. So the sauce is done. And if you're interested on how to do this sauce, then uh, I would just, just check out one of my very early videos that uh, shows you how to do Swedish style kebab sauce with Fanta in it actually. So there we are. And now it's time to eat. How strong is the or how hot is the pepperoni sausage? Not so hot. It's uh, got a little tiny sting to it. 
Cool. You can see in Cat's pizza here that she doesn't like sauce. On my pizza, there's a sea of sauce. If you ever come to Sweden, make sure you try the kebab sauce. Even if you don't like sauce, you have to try it. What? No. What? Oh. No. Motown kebab sauce. Nice cat. This is not the kebab sauce that is now in Sweden. The Motown kebab sauce is different than other. True. True. You should be in this region of Sweden if you want to try kebab sauce as well. Motala has the best pizza. I challenge anyone who wants to claim anything else. Now I have to eat. So now we've done eating and I'm super full. Kat is gonna go out with the puppies now. Me, myself, is just gonna sit down by the computer and chillax for a while. I'll see you later. I've been playing a bunch of computer now. I've been out with the dogs and that's pretty much it. It's uh, half past nine. It's not too long until I go to bed. Now I'm gonna watch the ending of Iceland Croatia. And we're cheering for Iceland. It's 1-1 and soon 80 minutes into the game. We're hoping for Iceland to score one more goal so they can move through the group. Oh. It kind of sucks to go to bed when it's still light outside. Or bright, not light. So that's that guys. Um, I'm just gonna end the vlog here now because there's nothing else exciting going on today. Just the ending of this game. And when you see this, you'll know how it went. I think Rascal also just farted on my foot. I felt a vibration after he sat down on it. Yes, he did. I smell it now. Thanks, Rascal. Classy. Guess I'll end the video with a farty sunny day.